with this, and we are going to be taking your curls in between. So we're going to be hopping back and forth between the computer and here. Which I think sucks, but okay. <laughs> Today, of course, as I said, the topic is transgender lunacy. Why am I bringing up transgender lunacy? It's not normally a topic I cover. I'm bringing it up because of the spiritual implications of transgendered lunacy. Now, you walk around outside in the real world. You hear about all of this stuff about boys being girls, girls being boys, boys not sure if they're girls, girls not sure if they're girls, whatever, okay? It's crazy. There's an infinite number of combinations being created. Um, and we have issues about bathrooms, which one are you supposed to go to? On the University of Arizona, it mentions pee privilege. Um, InfoWars brought that up. David Knight brought that up. Excuse me, but let me just say this right now. I don't know why this is going on. Everybody kind of wants to say they don't know. They're saying it's because of the 80s figures and all that. I think it goes further back than that. I think this goes back to the time of the 1960s. Free sex, free love, Stonewall, 1969. Certainly did not help the matter. Stonewall was the great, great event that caused some significant issues with people wondering if where they were going um, because of the Stonewall was the beginning of the change of our society. Woodstock, 1965, 1969, all this stuff, the 60s was the beginning or the normal male versus female normal world thinking started to unravel and the problem was is that nowadays since 1969 after stonewall we have seen um people kind of wonder what the hell is going on i mean like you go back and watch the, some of the musicians in the 80s. Take Boy George, for instance. Um, take a look at what Michael Jackson was doing. Take a look at so many other many famous musicians were doing in the 80s with their, um, their presentations. The people in Michelle's generation watched that, and at least she knew that was not the way it really was because she was raised in a very well healed conservative household that understood that is not normal behavior okay but now we're finding out that yes there are some medical people conditions that do exhibit this condition okay you got um gynecomastasia for men which is sometimes increased by certain antidepressants which gives men uh, larger breast tissue. You have um, Turner syndrome among women. You have Kleinfelters among boys, men, and thus are medical conditions. And depending on the way that person feels, they may want to just be normal or fit into a normal life. The one thing is clearly evident, and this and, and Alex Jones said the same thing. I'm going to say it a little more delicately than he did. Men cannot bear children. Okay? They cannot bear children. They do not have the reproductive circuitry to do it. Okay? That's not going to change. Okay? Do you also realize that women... Trans men can't impregnate a woman to have a baby either because the plumbing is not configured properly. It's a plastic surgery. That's what it is. It makes you look normal 
or pro quote normal doesn't make you normal. Okay? It, it's just it's just like if I wanted to make an old Volkswagen Beetle look like a Cadillac and I put on a new body and um exter on the exterior of a 1975 Volkswagen Beetle, I can make it look like a new Volkswagen Beetle or I can make it look like a Ford Taurus or a Ford <coughs> Escort or anything like that. It's just looks. It's not going to change the biological reality. It's not going to change that. That's going to stay the same. You're not going to become... Um, I don't care how many surgeries you go through. Caitlyn Jenner will never be able to have a baby, for example. Okay? Uh, same thing with a trans man. He's not going to be able to get a woman pregnant. That's not going to change. What has happened is we have glorified one sex over the other and made the other sex feel like they're inadequate. Allow me to explain. You got hermaphrodites who are real hermaphrodites. Michelle is a real deal hermaphrodite. She's not fake. She's not some decoration. She's got real issues. And they, she's been affected by this condition all of her damn life. What are you doing? You taking the questions or are you going to play something else on it? No, I'm putting my card back in my wallet. How many watchers do we have? One. We have one watcher. Mr. Watcher, I may I ask you if you would be willing to let others know of this video so that we can have a dialogue on the computer. Dory will read the questions. Since she's sitting over there anyway. Which means I don't have to get over there and read the questions. Now, one thing I also wanted to talk about is something that has, is this. Since they're all the stuff with this gender bullshit, let's get really clear. As I one time said once before, you can love the skin you're in. If you are hermaphrodite, you need to learn to love yourself. Not, not literally. I mean, I mean... If someone says, go fuck yourself, Michelle could actually say, give me a few minutes, I'll do it. But <coughs> the reality is it doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> but wow. Still, here's the deal. Every single person is, a, is a, has been given this body that they have on earth from the Divine Mother and Father God. That's the fact. That your body is, is was created for your time on this earth. And that's why you are capable of walking on two legs if you're a human being. And you have two arms. And in a normal circumstance, you have ten fingers and ten toes. And you have a nose, you have a mouth, you have two eyes and ear and things like that. Okay? That is because those are the kind of senses that you need for this earthly presence. And as far as reproductive capabilities, I'll say this much. Michelle has very little, if anything. She doesn't do that on a regular basis. I would say on a regular basis, unless see Michelle couldn't, doesn't feel it sometimes. But uh, the point here is, is that Mother and Father God have created everything person to be unique each person has been a special equivalent of a car's VIN okay vehicle identification number every person comes off the factory floor is equipped with special features skills traits abilities whatever that's your abilities and it's because we are the divine mother and father's children and that they love us and they want us to be able to succeed some people can curl their tongue we can't some people can are really flexible and they can fit in tiny spaces and very elastic michelle can barely even crawl underneath the bathroom sink to clean it okay but michelle and i do know that michelle and i have skills that are different we have different talents we're smart as hell. That's what we are. We're geniuses in our own right. We've got a brain. We have 
we have the ability to think analytically and logically and the ability to speak analytically and logically to everybody in the um, community who is willing to listen to us. Now, as far as if an individual child with no coaxing from any global society says, Mom, I don't feel right. I don't feel I am a boy or I don't feel I'm a girl. But I'm not sure what I feel. Don't sit there and say, Well, you're the opposite sex. Do you like get used to it? If they're questioning. That's fine. Questioning is good. If you can question yourself without some exterior person pushing the agenda on you, it's okay. No one's going to hurt you. If you, well, I wouldn't hurt you. Michelle wouldn't hurt you. Your parents, I don't know about your parents. It depends on what kind of parents you have. But if you really seriously start to wonder if maybe you're not quite statistically, for example, if you're a boy, but you like to play with makeup and, you know, and, you know, towels, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, you might be a fantastic father because you got an understanding that some boys do like to play with dolls and some boys do like to play with tea sets and some boys do like to cook and some boys do like figure skating. And those boys, don't force your parent. If you're a parent of those children, don't force them and say, that's sissy shit. You don't do that shit. No, you don't do that shit. You, re you embrace your child. If that child's not doing anything wrong, and he's still happy being a boy, but he wants to play with his sister's dolls and, you know, play with her tea set, let him. It's good to be a kid. Let him grow up free of this bullshit of gender versus sex crap. In those last, in the last since 1960s, we have pushed sex at a point where nobody knows so where the hell we're voice. going. Okay? Let people be themselves. We don't need to have some uh, mainstream globalist agenda trying to tell our little boys that they're not boys and that they're little girls and tell little girls that they're little boys. For God's sakes, it confuses everybody. The worst person that confuses is the poor child in the first place. Let them be themselves. Let them ask themselves these questions. We don't need some kind of gender training and gender indoctrination bullshit, okay? That's not going to work. Now, as I said in this video, I'm sorry it may offend some crystal snowflakes. I'm sorry it may offend some of the millennials out there. I'm sorry if it upsets you. I have been thinking about this since this transgender bathroom baloney started coming up more and more in our society. What the hell does it matter what bathroom you're going in? And wouldn't it be better, especially if they do have a medical certification that says you are what you say you are, to let you just quietly go into their facilities, use the toilet, Wash your hands and get out. That's all you have to do. We've done since the situation in North Carolina. We have turned this whole situation with Barack Obama and now and to some other states are saying, well, we don't know what the hell we're supposed to say. Now, I've got the question I want to ask you is what do you feel is the right thing to do? Let me ask your question, Lou. All right. What? What do you think? Michelle, I don't want to get involved in that. Oh, I didn't say you. Oh. I said Michelle. I asked Michelle oh, I'm a question. Sorry. I thought you said Dory. I'm okay, sorry. go ahead. Um, you're right about one thing about the the children. Um, in my generation, we grew up. We were told that there were certain gender roles that we're not supposed to cross the line on. Right. And and then in the starting in the 
in the seven, uh, late 80s, so it was sort of kind of a, a crossover. Yeah. And yet, the problem was, is I think there's, no, like you said, there's nothing wrong if a man wants to play with his sister's toys. And there's no reason why a little girl can't play with her brother's toys. It doesn't matter, except it's when you got society that make fun of them and say, oh, that's not right, you're doing the wrong thing. You know, and that makes them say, well, maybe I'm the wrong sex. But if you let them, you know, if gender neutral toys, ideally, gender neutral, crayons, um, coloring books, um, many children's games are gender neutral, that's fine too. Okay? Now, when that child grows up, in the ideal circumstance, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say the ideal, I think we're we'll going on this. Okay? And they have not been harassed and hassled. Okay? Maybe, for example, if that little boy liked playing with his sister's uh, Easy Bake Oven, maybe he might later on grow up to become a baker. Or maybe she may grow up to become an auto mechanic. She still feels as a female what she happens to be happy with a wrench. He's happy making a cake. He's still male. He's still got big, you know, facial fur with reason. I mean, you know, because, you know, food service work. Um, but he's man and she's a woman. He's got a girlfriend. She's got a boyfriend. Nothing wrong with that. But for some reason, the globalist's agenda, especially to George Soros, has turned everything on its head because of, so you're saying, and I think you're saying this, you think it's external that's pushing it. Like you said, it's external forces pushing this gender business. And it's killing our society. George Soros doesn't give a shit if we kill our population in the process. Just but then remember what the Georgia Guidestone said. Limit the Earth population to 950 million people. Which means that all these transgendered people are going to basically be killing each other off. Yes, because those people won't breed. Those people won't breed. They can't breed. Transgender people can't make babies. Those people will never be able to have families. Let me ask you a really question, because, Michelle, you're a hermaphrodite, really, and I know that you have thought about this. Mm -hmm. Would you like to have had a child? I'm sterile. I'm, that's a little different, but okay. Um, that I would like to have had a child. Yes, I would have. But, again, like you covered, there's an issue of money. It's expensive, but if... If I could, if I could have had a child, I would have considered it. But then again, given the way my life is right now, is I don't think I'd be a very good mother. I think I would be a nervous wreck. Um, I do not like playing around with children. I do not like being with children. It's just oh, for God's sakes! Wait, is it ripping? It's coming apart. Not yet, but you can see lacing is starting to come loose on it. All right, I think I get some more black thread. Uh, right, so what I'm trying to say is, 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 I don't think I'd be a good mother. I really don't think I have all the the, the personality to, to tolerate, you know, screaming children, screaming, I want this, I want that. You know, I think you would probably tell the kids straight out very firmly you can't have those things because they're not meant for you. Definitely. Okay. So, what do you think? Do you think that maybe the problem with today's generation of kids and parents is that they're letting the kids kind of run the show? I don't think the kids really know what the hell they're doing because they're being persuaded by outside forces that they're not normal and that they're sick or there's something wrong with them and and that they need to go through this gender business and there's 64 or 128 or 256 genders. Why are we doing this? Okay, 
let's keep it simple. Just, just keep it simple. We know biologically the only is for the most mainstream. All male, we're talking biological sex here, not gender. And all female, and traits in the middle were androgynous male, androgynous female, and hermaphrodite slash intersex slash non-binary fit. These are we're talking about the biological state. Okay? When you still get an agenda, we created all these highfalutin fancy uh, things that just confuse the hell out of me. I mean, I've had people trying to describe the genders. Cis this, cis that, hetero this, hetero this, homo this, homo that, um, non-binary, asexual, pansexual, bisexual, trisexual, all these fancy names. But what it comes down to is how do you really feel about yourself? And these people can't even tell you because they don't. No, because they think, well, I got to be something between these huge range of possibilities. What about this? You're a human being. There. Boom. You're either going to be a daddy or you're going to be a mommy or you choose not to do that. That's fine. But you guys are being allowed by the globalist agenda to come up with this bullshit. Agreed. And it's confusing you. It's just like Alex Jones said. This is a lunacy. This is a bullshit story. You know what? I, I think you're right. I think it's, it, it's crazy. It's, it's stupid. It's not helping the kids grow up. Of course not. Because they got so used to putting a fucking label on every possible thing. Have you ever looked at the, the way all these charts break down? You... Yee. Duh. I mean, this quality—it's got more roles in it than a, than than the treatment were, the, uh, medical treatment. Jeez, you know it's stupid. It hurts everybody. It hurts everybody. It doesn't do anybody any damn good. <sighs> okay, now um, even though it's a little bit different topic, but I think we both need to kind of chill out a little bit. Um. What is the story with the cat? Well, I had a person look at it that was a little more familiar with the condition. Um, she's not a veterinarian. She happens to be a neighbor who works in the home health field. She said that when she got bitten by a wood spider, she had to treat her injury the same as I used to be treating Rusty's, which is lots of hydrogen peroxide and the antibiotic antibacterial cream, it's for now, it's as good as it's going to get because we don't know if we're going to be able to get them to the veterinarian tomorrow because we do not have transportation. That is all I can tell you at this point. But I can say this much, guys, please pray for my kitty, okay? He's really special to me and Lomi and to Dory and to many neighbors who love him. He's a really sweet cat. You know, yes, he's a tomcat. Yes, he... He's a happy tomcat. He's he's treats people nice, okay? Yeah, he does tomcat things too. But please pray for my kitty, okay? I agree. Pray for the kitty. So, I mean, then we have to create this new tag, a new hashtag, a new hashtag. Hash pray for Rusty. Pray for Rusty. I like that. Pray for Rusty. Pass that on. Pray for Rusty. I don't care what gods you pray to or goddess you pray to. Pray for Rusty. Pray for Rusty. Definitely. And we'll do what we can to get him the treatment he needs. And you know, as I do alone, that this videos are going to be affecting everybody now let me take a quick look at the topics and the questions because you'll be sure you want to answer i do want to answer questions on the online if people ask him so let's see if there's any online questions there is not. Oh, i don't know if they're online but there's no and the answer is no 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 <laughs> nobody actually is asking questions nobody's asking questions Okay, fine. Okay, fine. No, money's asking questions. 
Okay. But I am damn sure I'll probably get a million comments when this video is over, along with lots of thumb downs. You know, I'm getting sick of that. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about this. Uh, well, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about the Judy thing. I really don't. I, I've already mentioned this. It's causing me a lot of depression, and, and I don't want to deal with it anymore. So. Let me ask Dory another different question. What do you think is going to happen to Rusty's injury? I hope it, it's nothing serious. But that's all I got to say. All I know is we're going to do our best, as all Mother asks, Michelle. That's all Mother asks is that you do your best. I kind of wish I had caught it sooner. Um, but I didn't catch it sooner. Michelle, you're doing the best you can, okay? Well, let's talk about that real quick. When you have a loved one, cat or person or dog or anything, okay, it doesn't matter what it is, okay? And then and, uh, the person or creature is hurt, and you realize that you got to act. you got to do something. The most, the worst thing you can do is nothing. And the best thing you can do is to immediately, proactively jump on the injury and not literally jump on it. I mean, to get immediately seek the help, seek the treatment for it as best you can. Then that's always the best you can. Mother and father gotta understand. If it's some if, if if a loved one is hurt and you have only a limited amount of supplies, anything you do is better than nothing. And if for some reason they don't pull through, don't beat yourself over the head and say, I didn't do the right thing. I didn't do the right thing. My so loved one is passed away with serious injury and I didn't do anything. Well, excuse me, but if you've been treating them as best you can with um, antibiotic creams and, and hydrogen peroxide and you've been monitoring the injury and you've been keeping an eye on things and it looks like it's making some my, some improvement, even if it's a very slow improvement. And you're, the point here is, you're doing something. Mother and father guy will never hold it against you if you're trying to help. And that's the thing. It's hard sometimes. It really is. Michelle really cares a lot about her pets. It doesn't matter if it's rusty or fame in fame's ear. Michelle really does care. And sometimes it's just hard when you feel like you can't do enough. It's okay. And you should be, at least, you can say, at least when in, you can acquiesce nicely and say, yes, I'm trying everything I can within my abilities. It's up to Mother and Father God at this point. I can't. I do, I'll do what I can, but I can't. Guarantee I'm going to be able to do the best things, but uh, it's better than nothing. You did not sit there and act like you say, oh, it's no big deal. Oh, it was a big deal. I know. And you took care of the big deal. So pray to Mother and Father God from Rusty. Hashtag pray for Rusty. Pray for Rusty. Even if you don't know who Rusty is, pray for Rusty. Pray for your own family. Pray for your loved ones. Prayer works. True, honest, heartfelt prayer works. Thanks. And you're right, it does. Just like Donald Trump said, our founding fathers of this country invoked and prayed to the Almighty four times when writing the Constitution to do their best to 
come up with, we don't worship government, we worship the Almighty God. And that's the truth. And some people, they would love us to worship a man-made construct called government. This founding fathers believed in all ways that God is the divine and most sacred and most important person that we should be putting our faith in. Our laws help us, but they do not replace what they call moral law. Moral law was given by the Almighty God for the purpose to help us live good lives. Temporal law, which is man's law, is only a very limited facsimile of moral law, which is divine. By the way, let's talk about something about that for a minute in this transgender business. You know what Jesus would tell these people out there who are trying to push all this transgender system on them? On the kids, and say, hey, leave those kids alone, for they are special to me. And if you do anything to hurt these little ones, you are going to have to deal with the Almighty. He did say something like that, didn't he? Yes, he did. He also means people holding the childlike heart or spirit. Don't crush the spirit. Okay? Just spirit. There are many adults that are like little children in a, in a, in a positive way. They're, they're mature, but they have eyes of wonder and excitement. They just love to do things, good things. They're sometimes not so good, but... You know, they love to experiment. They love to learn. They love exploring new things. And it's fine. Don't crush that spirit. That's what the society, mankind, wants to do is to crush your spirit. It's the only thing that they can do. But if you hold your heart and your spiritual heart up to the Almighty, God and Goddess, you will receive their blessings upon blessings from them. Don't give in to people like De John or, you know, Soros, or John Soros or George Soros. Don't give in to John S George Soros. Don't give in to Barack Obama. Don't give in to Macron over in France. Don't give in to any of these ISIS crap. Don't give in to any of Hamas crap. Don't give in to anything that is not from the divine. Because the Lord himself will protect you and keep you safe at all times. Now, like I said, I'm a little bit disappointed that we don't have any comments on the screen. I was hoping we could have talked about this. I got a feeling that by the end of this night comes, our computer is going to be full of comments. And full of people asking questions. And I'm going to do my best to answer those questions. Because I want to share with you. Like I said, this this issue about all the stuff that's been going on. It's just been getting on my nerves for a while now. Michelle knows this. It's so scary. It's so overwhelming. It's it's sad. It's disgusting. Mother and Father God will always love you. Please don't give up on them. Please don't shut the door to the truth love of the divine. Please keep them in your heart too. They love you unconditionally. And that is the key to the truth. Now I'm going to go over there again and this time I'm going to sit at the computer and I'm going to turn the camera that way so that we can answer your questions. I'm sure somebody is going to ask something. And if in about 10, 20 minutes we don't hear any answer from you, we'll just end the session for the time being and just wait for you to send us a comment on 
the later on and the stuff like that. And uh, as far as this, all the things that have been going on in Michelle's life and Tori's life and stuff that we're not going to cover because it's so depressing and so sad. Um, you know, I mean, it's really hard on everybody. Um, I've seen Michelle suffer greatly because of what was going on with that Trudy thing. Well, let me just say one thing. Michelle is a good person. She really does want to be loved. And at least she would like people to look at what she does on the positive light. All the things that she does. And yet, so many people in this world are always out there and putting her down. Her likes versus dislikes are increasing. But the question I wonder is, are you guys actually watching the videos on her channel? Or are you just assuming something? Please watch the videos. Don't just click dislike without watching them. If you're going to go click a like or dislike without watching the videos, click like once in a while. Michelle tries hard. She really does. Doesn't mean Michelle is going to be perfect. Doesn't mean Michelle can't make a boneheaded mistake. She's a human being, for God's sakes. She does make mistakes. But she does love you. And she doesn't even know who you are. And she would, she would give her life for you. That's something that is very important in this day and age. How many people truly wear their heart on their sleeves? But how many times has their own physical infirmities or insecurities resulted in problems with communications with people. A lot of people have that issue. A lot of people do. Michelle's trying to overcome her limitations and trying to be the best she can be. I'm sorry that what happened as I understand it. But Michelle here is really taking a beating. Please do her a favor and before you start judging anymore Please watch the videos. Okay? Please comment on the videos that Michelle puts out. It's bad enough being a, 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 um, a, a non fake news, right, you know, alternative rape media in this day and age when YouTube's policies are demonetizing alternative rape media. It's hard. We're trying, Michelle has been trying to do the right thing and cover the right news, has been trying to bring news to your attention that she feels like this stuff that she brought up earlier about that worm that's been going around, that why wanna cry or why cry, or whatever it is. She's been doing that because she wants you to know. And that's something I, I'm very proud of Michelle for, for taking the initiative to say, hey, we got a problem here, guys. We need to deal with it. We need to fix it. All right, so let me turn the camera towards the other computer so I can answer some questions, okay? And... Okay. So, let's get started. No questions? No questions. No questions. Oh, watch out. Hot glue gun. Yeah, I, I got it. I'm, I'm trying. I'm looking for something and I can't find it and I'm getting upset. What are you trying to find? I'm looking for a cross. A cross? Yes. That Nikki gave me. Yeah, she's looking for a little miniature cross for jewelry. Yes. I can't find it. Are you sure you had any extras? Yeah, I had an, a beautiful one that I found. That Nikki gave me. Okay. What are you and looking at? I me? Find. I'm looking in a barrel of treasure. I'm getting a little One upset. point. I'm stay cool. It's a five watt battery charger. Okay. So let's get back to the channel here. Nobody's questioning. Nobody has any questions. Um, we still have one watcher. And I'm going to go ahead and type something. 
so that they can oh make sure yeah keep that hot glue gun away from us so we don't get burned all right so let me just go ahead and get into the chatter um okay hello every everybody I am taking online questions, comments, or concerns, and I would like all of you to feel free to address them on this forum. Okay, so I said to the people is, hello everybody, I'm taking online questions, comments, concerns. That sounds like condoms. Oh, typo. <laughs> condoms. <laughs> Seriously, condoms, do you want them clean or dirty? No, please. <laughs> and I would like all of you to feel free to address them on this forum. I'm hoping that somebody will write back. Um... Um, but, uh, I don't know if they will or not. You know, you know, my channel really doesn't get too many posters. Um, as for the single watcher on this video, I do hope that you will let others know of this video when you talk with them so they can um comment as well so i'm trying to get people to open up to to um you know to discuss these issues and the concerns and stuff like that still i think it's pretty interesting that you got one watcher um and it looks like the one watcher stuck around for a while well, they never left. Don't, I know, but where are they from? I have no idea where they're from. I just know that they're still there. So, um... So, um... Yeah. As far as what you said, um, what you talked about earlier, can I go over to your channel and still keep my channel open so I can go ahead and check on the status of my video? Well, I wouldn't do that right now because the way this Mac is, it might seriously ruin your video if you do that. Right. Um, speaking of that, how are we doing? Um, we're getting about... The frame rate's fluctuating a little bit. We're getting anywhere from... Um, 8, 10, 12 frames per second drops. Um, input hasn't changed. It's still 25 frames per second. Output is 8 to 9 frames per second. The rate is um, uh, varying between a really low to really good to really lousy. And uh, the rate's alternating between different audio, audio adjust, video beat rates. Um, it's jumping up and down quite a bit, so it's not really, um, what I call great, right. But what I want to know is what causes that. I don't know. Okay. I have no clue what's causing that. I just know is that it's affecting the video in a, in a way that's not really positive. But don't worry, guys. First of all, we will be uploading the SD PAL version. So even if your video looks like crap here, there will be the SD PAL release will be online. So you will be able to ask or watch that if you felt. Because you know, Michelle Bianca says, I think what's happening is the reason why the, that issue came up with that Trudy girl was because. You, know, you, don't, want, you don't want nothing to do with you. You keep bringing it up. Well, I'm going to bring it up because it's important because it relates to what we're talking about right now with the computer. Is the live stream sometimes chops up the soundtrack. And that means if we say something and that whole part of the video may not actually be passed on. 
so people may think we said something completely different because of a jump in time. It's a very good possibility. Um, and I think you're right. I think that's the reason why we need to have the live streams also have with the other stream back backup. For example, I know that some people um, watched the situation with Rusty and um, uh, the, there was parts of the video that got chopped off. Uh, but they weren't quite at critical moments, but they were there, and uh, people kind of felt like, whoa, whoa, you know, like, what's going on here, you know? I'm right back. I agree. And, um, so let me, let's see if we can try to get the rate up here a bit. What do you think is cause? so you're saying is, is that you're thinking that, uh, the, see, right now, you, you pause the YouTube video, player on the other room and the frames per second is going up to 22 24 um and we're going back to 1500 kilobits per second so again get thinking this is definitely sounds like there's something going down with that video rate that it's kind of icky yeah uh, i definitely think so too um but and of course, you're pegging the meter. Or pegging the meter. We can turn it down a little bit. We can turn it down a lot. We can turn it down a lot. Okay, let's turn it down a little bit. Maybe we won't be so loud and irritating to people's ears. Let's see here. Yeah, you gotta peg that way up here. Let's just turn this down to about three quarters. Yeah. Okay, that's better. That's better. It's not quite picking as much. Um, but then again, the way the meter works anyway, it's really kind of hard to tell, um, because it's, the video meter on this, uh, FMLE is very slow, it's based on averages, and so it's not really, like, consistently, um, I'm gonna let people know we are gonna be uploading the SD Pell version, too. We, oops, oh, um, the, yeah, the other person disappeared, that's okay. We have, sorry, we lost our one video, and now we got, alright, so, oh, I'm sure we'll get it back. And, so, let's go back, and, so, let me just go ahead and post this link here. Yes, so those, okay, we are also uploading later today. The today the SD pal version of this stream so you can get the full uh, quality that you may not have in the online version. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to upload that one as well later on today. And uh, it's a real shame that we did not get a lot of questions. But, you know, I wonder if there's a, if there's a reason why maybe some people don't know how to post the messages on YouTube. Is, it make, is that possible? Yes, it's very possible. may not be. They may not know how. Um... Um, uh, YouTube is not going to leave you in the end of the stream. Okay, um, just give me some, wait. Okay, uh, 507, 515, 524, 543, 549, check resolution. Okay, you know what I think is irritating is the fact is that these programs, um, are really not happy with SD or standard definition PAL. Everything is so uh, American centric or centralist, uh, American centric today that people do not want to support the use of uh, American video formats. What? What do you mean? Well, what I mean is just like I sound like it's like. What are you doing? I'm just trying to find out. Oh, Michelle's here. Put it away. I hope so. Um, but I mean, this is that people have kind of gotten to the impression that everything has got to be um, a certain way. Um, here we are, a country 
that is probably uh, the small, I mean, the, we're only a, a small portion of the country, so we're like 1 60th of all the nations of the world, and yet you got all these people talking about American centrism and, and, and the fact is, like, for example, we try to push NTSC versus PAL in uh, television standard. And the problem is, is that the NTSC uh, versus PAL, um, the world has been using PAL for a long time, except for countries that use CCAM, which I don't know much about CCAM. But, um, and yet, everything has always been tied around uh, American policies and equipment standards and things like that. Even though we're the smallest country, we still get a lot of shit. We do. You are absolutely right about that. Well, I guess at this point, it's time to get ready to wrap this up, guys, because... You guys are more than willing going to probably inundate me later on with comments and um, troll us. And you always tend to do that, and it's kind of sad. But okay, you're gonna troll us, fine. But uh, um, again, if I may remind you, here it is. Here's the hashtag Brain for Rusty. Pray for Rusty. You know, <laughs> it's too bad this isn't VI where I can type in, hit insert, and then type in, say, 5i, pray for Rusty. All of a sudden, you see, pray for Rusty, pray for Rusty, pray for Rusty all over the screen. You know, only VI, the editor VI seems to have that feature. I've never seen that in any standard DOS editor um, other than them. Um, that is a cool feature. That is a really awesome feature. Um, so what I'm going to do is let's go um, back here. And I'm going to send... Can I, can I include... Oops. Watch out. Oh, you fingers, Lou. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So for now, guys, tell you what. Why don't we get going? I want you to know that we all love you, but just think about what we're saying, because let kids be kids. Let them be whoever they're going to be. Don't try to tell them that they're one or the other, because they kind of instinctually know if you let them be who they are. And don't post your, your agenda on them. They have the ability to think. They're smart people. And the most important thing of all is that Mother and Father God wants us to love our children. And they want us to always keep us. That it's a pleasure, it's a special gift when we have children. We don't need to turn them into something that is not necessarily in their best interest. Our whole job as parents and as adults is to help to inform, inspire, and to educate. And for now, I want to say very much, guys, thank you very much for watching these videos. May you always be with us, always in your prayers, and we will do fine, okay? So for now, see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.